The midsize pickup segment has always been rather competitive with the likes of the Toyota Tacoma and the Chevy Colorado battling to get the most sales. But there are other offerings on the market that are even more attractive than these two trucks that we mentioned. One of these trucks is the Honda Ridgeline. The Ridgeline is like a hidden gem in this midsize segment. Not a lot of people know about it, but those who have one are really enjoying these trucks. So if you want to learn more about this truck, stay with us while we learn how the all-new 2024 Honda Ridgeline turns heads in the automotive world. Platform and Configurations Let's start with the platform and available configurations with the Honda Ridgeline. This is probably the most important aspect when it comes to buying if you consider buying this truck to perform truck duties. The Honda Ridgeline is not your typical pickup truck. All other trucks in the midsize segment are using ladder frames and leaf spring suspension in the rear. But that's not the case with the Ridgeline. The Ridgeline uses a unibody platform that is borrowed from the Honda Pilot. And this means that in the rear, you have a multi-link setup. This is a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. It's good because you have a truck that drives like a car. This is because it is based on a car platform. So it's much more nimbler through the corners and people seem to love this. They get a truck that basically does not feel like a truck when you drive it. But the bad news is the poor towing and payload capabilities. This is the case because if you add a lot of load, you'll put the structural integrity of the unibody frame in danger. So you need to get your priorities straight when it comes to buying one of these trucks. When it comes to the available configurations, there's a single configuration available. This is the crew cab and the five foot bed. There is no option for a shorter cab and a longer bed, unfortunately. So make sure that this configuration will meet your requirements before buying. Powertrain. Now let's discuss the powertrain of the Honda Ridgeline. This model comes only with a single powertrain. This is something that can be a problem, especially these days when manufacturers offer a variety of different power levels. With the Honda Ridgeline, you don't have this customization. This is the case because the Honda Ridgeline comes with a naturally aspirated engine. So with this 3.5 liter V6 engine, there is no option to improve the power numbers, which in this case is 280 HP and 262 pound-feet of torque. These are good numbers, but not as good as the competitors. For example, the competition is using turbo engines, and these small engines can create some serious power. For example, the 2.3 liter EcoBoost in the Ford Ranger can create 270 horsepower and 310 pound-feet of torque. And as you can see, this is a massive torque difference. This Toyota Tacoma, on the other hand, is similar. The high output version of the 2.4 auto engine in this model makes up to 278 HP and 317 pound-feet of torque. And the hybrid version of this engine makes an incredible 326 HP and 465 pound-feet of torque. That's why we honestly hope that Honda will add a turbo engine to the lineup and will make things a lot more interesting in the future. With a turbo engine, things are a lot different since tuning is very easy and power numbers can increase massively. And these numbers are probably the thing that sells these trucks the most. Everyone is after serious power. The transmission, on the other hand, is decent. You get a 9-speed ZF automatic that delivers extremely good shifts and performs well in terms of towing. Towing and payload capacity. Since we mentioned towing, let's cover the numbers that the 2024 Honda Ridgeline delivers. Towing and payload are really important when choosing a new truck. A truck has to be good in this area in order to be a good purchase. And we can tell you that the Honda Ridgeline is decent and it can tow up to 5,000 pounds and take a payload of about 1,530 pounds. Although a decent performer, the numbers of the Honda Ridgeline are a far cry from the competition. Just for reference, the Chevy Colorado can tow up to 7,700 pounds. This is the case with the GMC Canyon and Jeep Gladiator, while the Ford Ranger can tow up to 7,500 pounds. Overall, when you put these numbers into perspective, the Honda Ridgeline is not one of the best performers around. It is decent, but not as good as many would expect. And as we noted, this is the case because this model is using a unibody frame, which is not intended to tow very heavy trailers. 
That's why when it comes to buying this model, you should be prepared for some compromises when it comes to towing and payload. With this model, you simply can't tow as heavy as other pickup trucks in this segment. For many, this can be a deal breaker. But if this is not the case with you, this truck will definitely make you really happy. Fuel economy. Another very important area where trucks compete these days is when it comes to fuel economy. Long gone are the times when gas was dirt cheap. These days, everyone wants to get a really efficient vehicle for the money. So how does the Honda Ridgeline perform in this area? Well, the Honda Ridgeline is a really good performer. This model gets up to 18 mpg in the city and 24 mpg on the highway. The new 2024 Trail Sport model has a slightly worse highway fuel economy of 23 mpg. But this is understandable since the Trail Sport is an off-road focused model with bigger tires compared to the standard. In the near future, we can expect that the Honda Ridgeline will get a new powertrain and with this new powertrain, there will be better numbers when it comes to fuel economy. But as of now, 22 mpg combined is the best that you'll get with this model. Exterior and Interior Design The exterior and interior design plays a very big role when it comes to choosing a new pickup truck. We're sorry to disappoint you and tell you that the new 2024 Honda Ridgeline has zero updates in this aspect. We all expected that this new model would bring a new front end design and a new dash inside of the cabin, but this didn't happen. The design of the old model was carried over for 2024. Hopefully for the 2025 model year, we're going to witness a bigger change when it comes to the design. However, there were some refinements to this model. The 2024 model got a new grille, specifically the Trailsport trim, and the infotainment system was a bit updated over the previous one. So there were slight changes that were brought, but 99% of the truck from a looks perspective has stayed the same. Trim levels. But something that has changed is definitely the trim level lineup. This new model brought the same trims as before and added one more. The trim levels for the 2024 model year include the Sport, RTL, Black Edition, and the latest trim level, the Trail Sport. The Trail Sport is a trim that was carried over from the Honda Pilot. The Trail Sport was conceived to be a proper off-road trim level. So what has the Trail Sport trim brought to the table? Well, with the Trail Sport, you get bigger wheels and tires. With this model, you get 30-inch all-terrain general grabber tires. These new tires are very capable when it comes to driving off-road and also very comfortable while driving on the highway. Road noise is minimal, not to mention that these tires are resistant to punctures, so driving them over rocky surfaces will not mean that you'll damage them in the process, as is the case with cheaper tires. On top of that, you have a good ground clearance of 7.9 inches, but if you want more, you can change this with some simple mods. Another big news with this model is the power that this model delivers to the rear wheels. This model delivers up to 70% power to the rear, which is really useful if you're stuck on the trail. On top of that, you get a ton of driving modes, like snow, sand, and mud. This model has you covered for every situation on the road. On top of that, you also get undercarriage protection in the form of skid plates. They look rather good and also protect your ridgeline. But one key difference that sets this model aside is its color. This model comes in a color known as Diffuse Sky Blue, and we can say that this color looks rather stunning. There are also plenty of other details that will show that you drive a Trail Sport model, such as stickers and interior stitching on the seats and dash. Overall, the Trail Sport trim is a nice addition to the lineup. Pricing the 2024 model has been released and the pricing is $39,750. This makes it the most expensive midsize pickup truck available on the market right now. But what's good about this model is that it comes with a ton of equipment as standard. That's why we really think that it's a really good idea, especially for those who want to enjoy a truck and still have the same car-like behavior behind the steering wheel.